uh, this is the second part of uh, our review for T802 cartridge. Uh, this is a cartridge shell that you can find at uh, cartridge for Epson. And you click uh, T802. And this is the empty shell, doesn't have any uh, chips and it doesn't have ink. And uh, then this, uh, this is our old, just one life cycle chip. And this is our new four life, chips, uh, four life cycle chips. If you are afraid of uh, mixing up chips, it's okay. You just use your your uh, uh, your phone to zoom in. You can see this 802 XLK that means black. This 802 XLC cyan. Get a uh, yellow. Magenta. So we get our printer calibrated with uh, Epson's uh, Pigment Ink. The first one we want to try is uh, use the converted to a dye ink printer. So you go to maintenance, ink cartridge replacement, next, start. Okay, we're gonna install the black first. We're gonna use a Gorilla double-sided tape to glue the uh, glue the chip. Uh, make sure you know which side is up, which one is down. This one with us with the uh, cold it does down, and uh, this little thing with the bar is up. Uh, we're going to use our uh, the the most inexpensive ink that you can find. Okay, it's going to be used a dye ink. So you go to refill ink, refill ink for Epson. And you can see this is standard uh, 600 ml. It's uh, less than three dollars a refill. So why Epson sell your three dollar ink and for a hundred ten dollars? <laughs> that would be beyond your beyond our imagination. Uh, we can use a syringe or we can carefully like it put this way.
I mentioned that uh, I really like uh, Epson's one-way flow damper because the ink can only flow one way to the printhead. So you have really uh, uh, less chance to have air bubble in here. And uh, so what I usually do is if I don't have the damper, I just make sure the ink flow to the to the top of the uh, to, to the very front of the cartridge. Another thing is uh, I can use a, a, a special tip to push it in and suck a little bit the ink out so I know this part doesn't have any air bubbles. So now I'm moving on to the cyan. Always try to be neat. My agenda. See, we have lots of forms in the front, so make sure that you get all the ink in the front. Okay, and uh, similar to Epson cartridge, you have to tear off the yellow labels.
Okay, at least the printer read the first set of uh, chips. Okay, let's see if uh, we clock up the printer because we switch from uh, pigment ink to dye ink now. Uh, this is the printer ask you um, if you want to automatically update. So we're uh, to disable automatic update. Because there's still some uh, pigment left in the print head. So first few pages, uh, there will be still pigment in, in it. So even if you print perfectly, uh, don't trust it. Always print at least uh, 10, 10 more pages before you see if it's clogged or not. Yeah, this is still pigment ink. Tell you what, I'll just print uh, maybe 30 pages. Okay, we just uh, finished flushing the print head by printing 30 pages full color. So, here's a, this is a pigment, and this is the, just a standard dye ink. So one is printed with half, uh, the dye ink is about half the price of the, the pigment ink. And uh, now you can understand why people switch. Okay. And you won't be able to find much difference between the two. Let me print the, uh, oh, actually, um, yeah. Uh, the difference is when you get a white, okay. Uh, let me write it down, it's pigment. When you get the dye ink wet, um, it's not going to just uh, all the color disappear. Right? So I get a pigment here. Okay. And I get a dye ink here. So let me, let me put it on the white background, you can see. You can see the pigment is still sharp. There's no difference. There's no running. And you see a little bit running around the dye ink. Okay. So if you pour coffee on it, you just dry it really quick. There's really not too much. You can see the uh, you can see the color is the border of color versus uh, the border here this is sharp so this is about the only difference that there is oh you can see uh, here here uh, you can see more uh, more uh, magenta is running because here here you get a lot of magenta okay that's about the difference and uh, if you so dry it make a little bit longer this is I did about uh, 20 minutes ago so it look like this so if you can stand this and uh, you, can, you can save uh, half of the half, half your ink money. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is uh, so this pigment ink on this next page, you can see you can see uh, there's no uh, running to the next page. And uh, for the dye ink, if you get it wet, it's gonna run to the next page. Okay. So you can see the transition from uh, pigment to dye ink is really smooth. There's no clogging, and uh, uh, this is to show to show the folks that says you cannot use dye ink in a pigment printer. Yes, you can.
Okay, we printed about 300 pages using the BCH dye ink and there's no clogging. You can see the printer works fine with uh, dye ink. So now we switch this printer to a dye ink printer. And uh, this is the first part of it. So let's, let's do a summary here. So for the Epson 802 cartridge, the standard cartridge uh, can print the can print 900, uh, 900 pages uh, black and 650 uh, color. So uh, the Excel cartridge can estimate print, it, print the 2,600 black and uh, 1,900 color. So you can see there's a big difference between the Excel and uh, 802. So for this product, so we make the chip can work four times. And at, uh, at Excel level, so you're gonna have a estimate over ten thousand pages. You can print it with, the, with this set of uh, chips. And uh, so when we consider price, if we buy one set of real Epson eight o eight o two cartridges, uh, if we search online, one set is about a. $124 and you can it only has one lifetime so you can use once so you you're paying uh, about $124 for 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 each life cycle so you can buy a cloned third party remanufactured cartridge and uh so for each set you're paying about $85 that's the cartridge with the ink and then we have uh, this empty cartridge can use four times, Excel form means four times. So we put a target price to be $129.99. So it looks like uh, it's higher than those, but you can you can use four times. So each time is about $32. Okay. And then we have to consider ink and um, because this thing is empty. So if we add this uh, standard ink and uh, and uh, just like what we did in the first part, and uh, each set of ink, the KD KD six hundred X, so like this guy, this guy can refill six times. Okay, so you can use this to refill this guy six times, and uh, so each time it's only three dollars. So you add those together, so so each uh, each refill. Your, it gonna cost you about thirty-six dollars. Oh, lots of people ask me to do a comparison of uh, dye ink and the pigment ink. So this is a uh, Epson OEM ink that we used. So I'm gonna put uh, the Epson pigment on the left, and then we're gonna put uh, the BCH standard. That's our lowest grade um, dye ink. So let's compare this page first. So one is a uh, hundred dollars, and uh, one is uh, three dollars. Okay. So can you tell the difference between a hundred dollar and six dollar? Not three dollar. And uh, uh, just to remind you, yesterday we did a comparison. This is absence of pigment ink that we pour water on it. You can see there's no uh, it didn't didn't go through the page, and uh, the second page it didn't get stamped. Of course, the dye ink. Okay, this is the standard dye ink. After you pour water on it. Let's go to, go through the second page and we get a little bit of stand on it. So this about this about the, the difference you're gonna see and uh, everything else look good. So if you have a dye ink, you accidentally pour coffee over it. It's not the end of the world. I mean, it's not gonna be all merged together. Okay, so let's keep the comparison. So this is the uh, Epson. Uh, 
and this is a dye ink. Okay, and uh, then in, in the text mode of absent. So the text mode absent supposedly should be perform much better. Okay, here's absent, and here's a die. Okay, there's no much difference. So the die, the quality of die ink is really reaching up to absent on the text quality. Okay, and uh, it's not it's not all bad. And uh, see, absence supposed to be a weaker, a little bit weaker on the on the photo. So here's absent. So let's see the photo. Okay. Okay. Now it's dying on the photo. And uh, okay, let me show you this supposed to be this pigment. Okay, supposed to be weaker than this dye. Okay, this is dye ink. It's supposed to be really nice on the dye. It look a little bit smoother uh, for the dye, but I don't see it too much. Let me cut the piece off so it'll be look side by side. Okay, I cut this piece off. So this one on the right is supposed to be better than the left. Yeah, I can sort of see it. I think, yeah, the dying does a little bit better. But if you look at a picture this close, unless it's your girlfriend, something's wrong with you. Okay, from uh, Maybe arm length away, I don't see any difference. So, Epson has made a lot of uh, improvement on their on, on their pigment ink. So, congratulations, Epson! Finally, you beat a three dollar uh, ink. Okay. Okay. I hope you see the difference. And uh, for me, it really doesn't worth the money to, for to get a pigment ink. But I don't know about you. Next video, we're going to switch from dye ink to pigment ink again. I hope you enjoyed this, this video. Visit us at, uh, at www.bchtechnologies.com. Thank you.